Okay, so this is the proper way to clean one of the big Bob Ross brushes. This goes for the 2 inch brush, 1 inch brush, half size round, oval. See how I'm wiping this on a paper towel first? And down in that bucket there's a screen and that's odorless paint thinner. So I just really go to a lot of trouble to really clean that out of there. And then um, once I do that, I put it down in the bucket and that paint thinner is probably about an inch above the screen. So notice that bucket is lined with a freezer bag, like a gallon size. And that way I can seal it twice because I try to keep it closed as much as possible. Okay, so I'm going in there and I'm going to brush it across that screen. See the bag? And I don't let them sit like that now. You wouldn't let them sit for a long time because that moisture will get up into that that wood because it's a wooden handle. Okay. Now my friend reached over and she squeezed because that's what I do, but I wasn't on that side. You squeeze out the excess, okay, and now go to the brush beater rack that I keep in a closed garbage can that I got from Walmart. I love it. Um, it doesn't open that easily now, but I've lined it with a garbage bag and then I go in there and this, this part is only for the big brushes. That is the Bob Ross brush beater rack. It's kind of cool because you can spread the legs out and it will conform and hold on really tightly. Now, uh, usually I'll close that trash bag, trash can right away because of the fumes, but um, I go in and I dry my brush super, super well. Um, don't just rely on a brush breeder rack, at least I don't. And it's almost dry, and that is the proper way to clean.